we feel a certain aliveness pervading the body. It's very simple, but some attention has to go there, otherwise you can't feel anything. Which means you have to take some attention away from thinking. If you're fully in thought, you can't feel your body at all. You don't feel alive anymore. Just abstractions. So the beautiful thing is, it's not only that your body loves being acknowledged and getting your attention. It's a very healing thing to do. And most importantly, it slows down your thinking considerably if it doesn't stop it completely. Because if you have your attention here, you can't have it there. And this be the embodied state, it's quite nice. What you're feeling is not ultimately the physical body, it's already halfway beyond the physical body. Chi, life energy. And I call that halfway between form and formlessness. It's a bridge, Chi is the bridge between the the formless dimension and the form. So it's wonderful to sense that. can do it anywhere when there's enough room you don't need to focus on externals 100% have some attention in the body boredom disappears for example when you have attention in the body you're not bored you actually enjoy feeling alive and that it can serve as an anchor for staying present. And that can be one way of looking around at the world without unnecessary mental labeling, as clarity of perception. and looking at the situations that arise in that clarity of perception. And from that clarity of perception, you know what you need to do or what needs doing in that situation. It's a higher intelligence that you contact via the body, a higher intelligence than the prior knowledge of the human mind. And then you know what to do. So you have an inside or a spontaneous doing. Or if there's nothing to do, it's being is enough. It's, you can enjoy just being. Sleepless nights are a wonderful opportunity for going into the body. I can't sleep. Why don't you do something useful, go into the body, and then you lie there and feel the, the aliveness. And before you know it, you've gone to sleep, perhaps. And then you wake up in the morning, 
perhaps you still feel a lingering sensation there in the body and if you don't as you wake up put your attention into the body first before you start thinking about the day or just a couple of minutes three minutes two minutes it's a good start of the day to feel alive it can't be a bad start of the day I tell you what a bad start of the day is, is listening to the news. It's a grounding, but not a heavy grounding. It's a rooted in being. Oh. 